Hi, my name is Bharat and I'm the founder of FinanceGermany.com and BrandAvice.com. And I also came to Germany as an expat. And when in 2020, I started investing in Germany, things were very, very different back then than how they are right now. And many of the limits have changed, how you invest in stocks have changed, what kind of interest rates, which didn't exist at all, have changed. All of these things I want to share with you in this video, because I understand as an expat, when you're coming to a new country, you don't really get the language that well. And that's why I always say it's always good to learn German. I studied my master's in a German taught program. I studied in like industrial engineering. So I can read the information very well and I'm able to keep myself up to date. And this channel I run so that I'm able to share that information with other expats who are maybe not that happy with reading German news all the time. So investing in stocks in 2023, that's going to be the main theme for this video. And things have changed massively. Like right now, if I show you my portfolio, like I'm at around like 282,000 euros, but it was never this way. If you take a look at my first YouTube video uh, on brand device, this was like 6,894. And of course, how I started, it was with just like 100 euros. And then over the time, it grows and grows and grows. Like it's been now three years and we have seen like pretty bad times, like 2020, 2021, 2022, and then 2023. And there hasn't been a single year where they gave us some kind of peace or gave us some kind of like happy news and things like that. It has been one surprise after the next. But even during these times, you're able to like, you know, grow your portfolio if you're like investing in companies in the long run and you're able to find good companies you can invest inside right that's the most important thing and of course like i told you previously like things have changed massively um if i show you this graph here look at this like my portfolio had gone up to like 126,000 000 euros and minus and now it's like 68,000 000 euros and plus so there are always these kind of waves that you also have to go through and when you have gone through all of those things you learn a lot more which I'm happy to share with you right now. So when you're investing in stocks, it's a completely different thing than using your income free um, tax bracket. What does it mean? So in, if you're living in Germany, right? If you're making any kind of income, the first 10,000 euros, it used to be 8,652 euros when I came to Germany. And now it's almost 11,000 euros. That means the first 11,000 euros, you don't have to pay taxes on at all zero euros but that is the income from your labor that is when you're going somewhere you're working something that is when you have to pay zero taxes on those eleven thousand euros nice thing if you're married it almost reaches twenty two thousand euros which is really nice because if you think about this let's say we um calculate about the taxes on a fifty thousand euro income which is around like four thousand euros per month so on that fifty thousand euros of brutal income you are only paying six thousand five hundred sixty euros of um, taxes which is actually really nice like this equates to just like 13 percent of taxes and you really get a lot of things for the taxes that you're paying in germany of course your social contributions your health insurance things like that they come separately but if we just talk about the income taxes it is still not bad at all so that's the story like this is a separate thing and i don't want you to think about this at all because the taxes which are applied on labor is completely different than the taxes which is applied on capital capital gains and that is called the capital attraction and here you are taking a look at completely different kind of limits completely different kind of numbers all of that we see here previously also like this has been increasing so from 2008 to almost 2011 it was stable it was 8000 euros of basic tax free income but then afterwards to keep up with inflation and so on they were like increasing it every single year and that's why you see in the year 2020 from 2021 to 2023 the jumps are much stronger than it used to be previously right so before 2023 if you're making any kind of profits from your um, investments and so on in Germany, you would have a tax-free limit of only 801 euros per year. And if you're married, it's nice because even if it's only one person who is investing, then the limit gets doubled. Then it's like 1,602 euros. 
But now after 2023, that is like from 1st January 2023, this has changed. So now you're having 1000 euros of basic free income from dividends, from making profits via trading, things like that. And if you're married, it's 2000 euros. Now, what happens when you're making more than this? So if you're making, let's say 1050 euros, right? So from this 1050 euros, only 50 euros will be taxed and not the first 1000 euros. This is something you have to keep in mind for everything, just like the income tax that I showed you. If you take a look at the formula here, it says bis 10,908 euro, Einkommensteuer null. And then there's a linear progression. Um, and then afterwards it changes, it becomes a like proper. Uh, so this is the average thing that you're seeing. And this is the progression that you're seeing when your incomes are going above a specific limit. And that's what I tell you, like, if you are taking a look at the higher taxes, like you would be paying like, you know, higher taxes, like upwards of like 130,000 euros. And like, we are not even seeing like the really, really high income bracket right now. So if you take a look at that, uh, let's say we are doing 500,000. When you do 500,000, then you see, all right. So it looks like it's not showing that at all. Anyways, that's funny, but like you're still having like really, really less uh, income tax to be paid, at least at the normal salaries that you're talking about, right? So that's how it works. Upwards of 1000 euros or 2000 euros, whatever your case may be, you would be paying 26.375% of taxes. Uh, how does this come out? You're having a 25% base tax and then afterwards a Solidaritet Zuschlag comes on top. That's why you are ending up with the final tax if you're not in the church of 26.375%. If you're in the church, then it is 27.995%. Um, and you can just call it 28%. So 26%, 28%. And, but then there's another exception. And that is if you're living in these two states, that is the state of Baden-Württemberg and Bayern. In Bayern and Baden-Württemberg, you're paying a little bit lesser if you're in the church. There you're paying only 27.819%, right? So this is a story so far. And this is like how essentially the main information you need to get started with investing in Germany, because you just need to open a brokerage because of course, if you want to invest in stocks, you need to find a broker. I used to have previously Trade Republic, uh, which you can see the screenshot of here. Um, when I started investing in stocks and scalable capital didn't exist at the time. And it was Trade Republic was also a pretty nice app. Like I really liked it and uh, it was pretty simple to use and so on. But the problem came that when I started seeing that I want to move somewhere, if I want to move to another country, to Denmark, to Romania, to Czech Republic, to whatever other country I want to move outside from Germany, Trade Republic will not let me have my account which is going to be a big problem because if I'm like investing so much money all the time, then I definitely want to keep doing this for a longer duration. I don't want to like, you know, shift my brokerages every few uh, months, every few years and so on. And that's why I made the decision of like going towards scalable capital. And now you see from on scalable capital, I've been investing. It's been a long time. And uh, these are the main companies that I'm invested in. And also recently they have added some new things, which is like, you know, getting interest rates and so on, on the money that you have deposited in cash. All of that I explained to you real quick. So the second thing is the step two is once you know about the taxes is to choose a brokerage. Now, of course, uh, like I said, you can choose whatever brokerage you want. Uh, what I really recommend is scalable capital because you have the freedom of moving around um, within Europe and not having to change the broker, which is really nice. And also all of the taxes and stuff is automatically submitted by the end of scalable capital. So you don't really have to worry about these things at all. You get a tax declaration towards the end of the finance year for yourself. And then you can just like, you know, keep it for your own documentations for the future. So this is also one nice thing that is the taxes are automatically deducted on scalable capital and your work really becomes zero. Your work becomes just to make money, focus on your business and then invest in whatever ways you want. Another very interesting thing that came out with scalable capital was the 2.3% interest on your cash. 
So that's what you see essentially here, the KKT Abschluss, which is 217 euros and below here was 95 euros. The 8.13 euros is the dividends that I got from NVIDIA. And um, this was the cash that I had lying here. And the nice thing about this is that this um, percentage, this interest that you're getting of just keeping your cash. Now this cash is secured because this cash is, ha is actually with a bank. And in Germany, banks, are insured by the government up to a limit of 100,000 euros. Let me put this inside so you remember this. Up to a limit of 100,000 euros, no matter where you're keeping your money, this is going to be safe as long as um, it is in a German bank account. I also know that in Romania, this is the same limit right now, like also 100,000 euros are completely secured. So it's possible that it's like EU wide, but at least if you're living in Germany, you can be safe that if you're having any kind of screw ups happening with the bank whatsoever, the 100,000 euros always stay safe. Also in case the broker goes bankrupt or something, what happens is all of the securities that you have already, they just get transferred to another broker. So they are always in your name. So you don't have to worry about the broker getting bankrupt or something. So like that's what also makes me sleep at night that I don't have to worry about these things. So that's how you essentially like you know um, put the money inside and once you put the money inside you can start getting interest on that and when you say all right now i have the cash and everything ready and what i want to do is i want to buy something so when you want to buy something you can simply search for the name of a particular company so for example we can do you want to invest in pfizer i don't know maybe we want to invest in pepsi so if you want to invest in pepsi you can do two things. So first thing is called an automatic savings plan, which is called Sparplan. You can see right here. I hope you can see it on the screen. Yes, I invest in this thing. And here you can say that, okay, I want to just invest like, you know, one euro uh, per month, or I just want to invest like two euros per month, whatever, or 10 euros per month, right? 10 euros per month is something which everybody can do. So you can do it monthly. You can do it every two months and so on. That's completely up to you. And then you can say, okay, like activate the savings plan. So when I do this, the 10 euro savings plan per month has been activated. That means at the end, so on 7th of every month, it's going to take the money from your bank account. It is going to invest in this completely on its own without any kind of problems whatsoever. So now you know how to start an automatic savings plan. For example, you want to do it in Tesla, you want to do it in Microsoft, Apple, whatever, you can do it very, very easily. And how do you cancel it? That's also super simple. That's why I also like this app and like the brokers in general here these days that you can like do these things very quickly. So you can just click here at the bottom Spa Plan Lucian and you're good to go. Now let's say we want to do something with Apple, right? So here, if I want to like, you know, have five euros per month, 10 euros per month, whatever, you can all have those savings plan ready and the savings plan if you're a prime member and um, otherwise even if you're a free member till a specific limit it doesn't cost anything i'm going to share with you all of those details also here further if we take a look at the comparison of the details so you don't have to pay money in order to um, start using the brokerage and also if you want to do the savings plan for example it is not costing anything at all. But if you want to buy or sell, you know, when you want to buy actively a stock or if you want to sell something, then it costs like 99 cents. That's something that you have to keep in mind. But if you're a student and you just want to do savings plan, you want to like do it automatically, you can do that. And even if you're like investing, buying or something, then it's like just 99 cents. So, 10 euros per month, you can say, all right, like I want to do 10 euros per month in Apple. And then afterwards, I also want to do 10 euros per month in Tesla, right? Say 10 euros per month. And you can just like activate these savings plan. And you don't have to worry about anything at all. It is going to be automatically getting deducted from your bank account and it will be then put inside the stock. And now you know, the second question you might ask is, okay, like, you know, 10 euros, like I cannot even buy a full Tesla stock with 10 euros. That's where the story of fractional shares come inside. So then you will get a fractional share of whatever you're able to buy with 10 euros, but you're not able to buy the fractional share when you're actively buying something or selling something. 
this is only applicable with savings plan right so that you have the freedom of like choosing whatever kind of like amount you want to do so this is essentially how this works that's super simple what else do we have here now we take a look at the costs right so you have a few things that you can take a look at if you're like taking a look at the interest if you want to earn interest and i would say interest makes sense only if you're putting around like 2608 euros at least in this because uh, five euros per month for a year becomes 60 euros right so to overcome that 60 euros of interest that you'll be getting you need to have at least six this 2608 euros inside in your um cash deposit here on scalable capital so that it like breaks even that otherwise i would say you can just use the free one or if you want to like buy and sell more then you can use the prime broker which is paid annually so that's just like around 35 euros something like that um and then if you want to like do uh, crypto trading and stuff there are like other costs involved like 69 percent 69 percent and this is the spread surcharge and um there are also different kind of stock exchanges you can choose from there's getex and there's zetra um, i generally buy all of my stuff at getex i have never had any kind of problems whatsoever but if you want to buy from zetra which is the main stock exchange you can also buy it there but of course the charges are the charges are then much higher um, also you can put the price alerts you can have some kind of stocks in a specific uh, kind of watch list for example like you see here at the bottom for me and you can also invest in cryptos all of those things can be done in one single place of course like with cryptos i believe it's like better to have something in a proper exchange itself um for example like you know binance coinbase whatever but with scalable capital i think like for stocks for bonds and so on like this is a very nice uh, option that you have so of course like now we have also talked about the cost so it can be free it can be paid if you're using the paid monthly one then of course make sure you're having some kind of cash it's actually really beneficial because like i had almost 217 euros of interest paid out in june and before that in march also 95 euros and in june 217 euros so if you take about take a look at this one like it's almost 306 euros this year of just interest um payments that i have received from scalable capital for just keeping my cash here so i don't find it bad at all like this can uh really add up in the longer run so this is what i recommend if you have any kind of questions whatsoever about like you know investing in stocks and so on you can let me know and also please use my link uh, the referral link for scalable capital for opening your depot when you use my referral link you can send me an email at broker at financegermany.com and I will send you a completely free training on how to manage your finances in Germany. This is going to be for the people who will be using my referral link to open their own broker. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video helped you, share it with somebody else and I will see you in the next video. Bye.